Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christine and we are doing a live Zoom class with an organization called Breast Friends in Tigard, Oregon. If you'd like more information about their wonderful organization, their website is linked below in the description. Today's yoga class will be gentle and calming for the nervous system as well as for the body and the mind. And I invite you to come to a comfortable seat whatever that looks like to you today. If you're sitting in a chair, if you're sitting on a floor on maybe a cushion or some other support, whatever feels right for you today, go ahead and get yourself settled in. Begin to feel the support underneath your body, underneath your feet. Underneath your sit bones. underneath your legs, and if it's helpful to close your eyes so that you can really focus on those sensations of being supported, please feel free to do that. Or if you rather, you can just soften your gaze. And just notice where your hands are resting. See if they're not already, maybe bring them to rest on your lap. And just feel maybe the warmth of your own body here. And begin to bring your attention to your face, to your forehead, and to your jaw. Notice if you have any tension there. Maybe you're Squinching up your face a little bit. See if you can smooth the muscles of your face. Release any tension in your jaw. Begin to relax your shoulders. Maybe encourage your tongue to come away from the roof of your mouth. And invite yourself to be really present for yourself, really here in your practice today. And then to anchor you even further, to ground you more fully here in this practice, begin to notice your breath. And if you're breathing up high in your chest or maybe the breath is coming fast, that might be an indication to you that your nervous system, your sympathetic nervous system is a little activated. Maybe you're feeling a little stressed. So just listen to that communication from your body. Maybe your pulse is a little rapid. And then we can use our breath to communicate back to the nervous system that it's okay to relax, that it's okay to be flexible today, that it's okay to be soft. And we do that by bringing the breath down deeper into the belly. So you might want to bring one hand or both hands to your low belly here and just let your shoulders soften away from your ears and see if you can feel your breath expanding down into your low belly as you breathe. And it might be helpful to picture your whole torso like a vase. And the throat is the mouth of the vase. And the low belly is the va base of the vase. And as you pour water into a vase, it pours down and starts filling in the bottom of the vase first. And then the water level rises and rises and rises until you pour that water all the way to the top. So visualize your breath the same way. Inhale and first notice the breath expanding in the low belly and then the mid belly and the upper belly into the rib cage and then up into the chest. 
And then just let the breath pour back out from the chest, from the rib cage, and from the belly. So just following your breath here. Just stay with that for five breaths. And if your thoughts start to wander off, just gently bring yourself back to the places where your body is supported right now. And to the sensation of your whole body being filled with new, fresh oxygen. The next time you exhale, you might begin to draw the base of your skull up towards the sky and find just a little more length in your spine. Notice the low back, the tailbone, and let your attention travel up the spine, encouraging a little more space in between each and every vertebra. You could tuck your chin gently, recommit to relaxing your shoulders, noticing if they've crept up again. Maybe noticing if you're squinching your face or clenching your teeth and seeing if you can release that. And just let yourself be present for whatever is coming up for you without any judgment, just gently encouraging a little softness, a little receptivity. Just a few more breaths here, that nice, deep, vase-like breath. Giving yourself an opportunity to tune in One more inhale like this here, and as you exhale, open up your mouth and let it go with a nice big sigh. Let's do that two more times. Big inhale. Exhale and let it go. Let's do that one more time together, and this time let's sweep the arms out towards the walls alongside you. You might come just to shoulder height, or maybe you reach them all the way up to the sky, and then bring your palms together and exhale, letting them land right here at your heart. From here, you can continue to sit, or if you like, you can come to standing. We'll release the hands and come into mountain pose, Tadasana. So you can do that seated on the floor, seated in your chair. And just rock a little forward and back on your feet. Picture the bottoms of your feet like footprints in the sand. Open up your arms a little bit. And kind of encourage your tailbone to be long down to the ground. So you're not sway back here, you're not hunched like this, just nice and long. Lift your heart up to the sky as well as the base of the skull once again and draw the fingertips down towards the ground. Find a little softness behind your knees. And then again, let's inhale to reach out towards the walls alongside us, maybe to shoulder height, maybe all the way overhead. And then exhale, bring your hands right down to the heart. Again, take the whole length of the movement and the inhale together. And then let the movement take the whole length of the exhale. 
You can continue right here, just moving the arms and breathing, or the next time you exhale, bend your knees deeply and draw your arms all the way down to the tops of your thighs. Bring your, the heels of your hands to the tops of the thighs and find a halfway lift here. Maybe bring your toes in just a tiny bit to be a little pigeon toe, just a smidge, like a quarter of an inch. And breathe here. Gently press into the tops of the thighs. Let that tailbone lengthen away from the crown of the skull. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. Couple more breaths here. Decompress that spine. Maybe find that vase-like breath filling up the belly and then the ribs and then the heart center. Exhale, bend the knees generously, let it go. And then inhale to sweep your arms down, around and up and come all the way back to shoulder height or alongside the ears. And exhale, hands to heart. Just notice what you notice. Feel your feet on the ground again. Release your hands and come back into your mountain pose. And we'll do that a few more times. Again, stick with just the arms today if you're sitting or maybe you fold forward from your seat. Or if you're standing, let's do that three more times. Inhale to sweep the arms out and up if you like. Exhale, bow forward, bend your knees generously. This time you can bring the hands to the thighs or maybe to the shins. Find that halfway lift with an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees generously. And then again, sweep your arms down, around and up. Press your feet into the ground and exhale right back down again. Forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, hands to thighs, shins, or maybe to blocks or your mat. Exhale to release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. And just notice how you feel. Moving the blood around in the body. Notice any sensations. Notice your own aliveness, your vitality. And when you're ready, we'll release the hands. And we'll come into a downward facing dog. So if you're using a chair today, you can use a table or another chair in front of you and stay seated and reach forward, or you can come to stand, bring your hands to the tall back of the chair, or bring your hands to the seat. If you're using a mat, come all the way down to the ground, reaching your arms up. Exhale to bow forward. Inhale to find that halfway lift. And then release bending your knees and walking your hands away from your feet. Let your knees be bent really generously. Come up onto the balls of the feet as much as feels good. And for this first downward dog, take your feet out a little bit wider, maybe almost as wide as your mat. Press your hips back towards the wall behind you and kind of rotate your arms so the inner elbows are shining forward. Let your head hang heavy and then bend deeply into the left leg as you press your right heel down to the ground. Come on up onto the balls of the feet and then bend the right knee deeply, pressing the left heel down to the ground. And then just continue to move organically, walking out your dog, Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. And then bring your feet back about hip width apart. Inhale right here. Exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. 
Inhale, find that halfway lift again. Draw the base of the skull away. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, reach down around and up. And exhale, hands to heart. And just notice what you notice here. Release your hands. Feel your feet on the ground. Soft behind the knees. Neutral pelvis. Lifted heart. Long neck. And then let's inhale, reach your arms forward to shoulder height. And then we're gonna cross the forearms and cradle the elbows with the hands. So some, some of you, some of our older people might remember I Dream of Genie. So this is the I Dream of Genie posture. You might even come here or you can hold on nice. We're just gonna begin to make some clock light or some circles here with the body. So keeping right here, you might just tilt to the left and circle forward, tilt to the right and circle back. Nothing major, just getting a little movement and noticing what you feel in your rib cage, your armpits, behind the shoulder blades. You could stay here with your arms right here, or maybe you bring them up overhead. Keep a soft bend in the knees. If you wanna amplify this, you could extend your arms and interlace your fingers, letting your hands reach forward as you circle forward and up and back as you circle back. Generous bend in the knees. Let's do a couple more times in this direction. And the next time you come straight up, we're gonna just reverse those circles, going in the opposite direction. And again, let this be organic. You can keep it as tall and as subtle as you like, or you can really get generous here. You might even think about adding in that vase-like breath, breathing into the low belly, and then the rib cage, and then the heart, and then letting it spill right back out on your exhale. Just a few more times in this direction to even things out. And the next time you come with a nice straight spine, that's the last time we'll bring the hands together and again down to your heart. Find length in your neck, release your hands, and just notice the rebound effects of your practice. So this is how we regulate our nervous systems is first we get grounded so we feel safe and then we do a little activation and then we come back to neutrality again and we do that over and over on our yoga mat so that we can do that off the yoga mat as well and we'll get a little different kind of spinal movement. You can keep your arms down low here, or you can find those I Dream of Genie arms again, or maybe this time you make cactus arms, bending your elbows, opening up your heart. We're gonna inhale as we gently twist over to the left, and then exhale as we twist to the right. Just start out slowly here keeping your, hand, your feet grounded, and keeping your pelvis facing forward as much as you can so that the twist is happening in the mid spine and in the rib cage and the upper spine. Keep your gaze in line with your heart here so you're not twisting the neck. You can stay nice and slow or you can start to speed it up. Inhaling left, 
exhaling right, breathing through your nose. Keep the feet grounded, keep the neck long. You have the arms raised and you need to lower them down. You can feel free to do so, but we don't, we're not gonna be here much longer. So feel free to challenge yourself a little bit. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, and one. Come back to center, release your hands. Before you do any sort of movement, just notice what happens in your arms, your fingers, your shoulders. And then maybe shake out your arms, roll your shoulders up and down and back. And then again, we'll come to use the chair or maybe yoga blocks or maybe you're coming all the way down to the ground. You can use the back of the chair or the seat of the chair. We're just gonna stand right in front or again, if you don't want to use the chair, you don't have to. Whatever you have space for. We're just gonna bend the knees generously, bring your hands to whatever surface you're using, the floor, the chair, whatever, and walk your feet back again. Just like that downward facing dog. Draw the tailbone away from the base of the skull. And then we're just going to walk the feet forward. From here, you can step the left toes back. If you're sitting in a chair, you can scooch over to the left side of the chair so you're sitting on the right thigh and just step the left toes back from here. So you're in a lunge, whichever way you're doing it. Maybe your hands are on the ground. Maybe your hands are on the chair. Maybe you're using some yoga blocks. And just kind of gently rock back and forth here. Just feeling into your left hip flexor, pressing your left heel back towards the wall behind you. And then inhale here. And just kind of let your hips sink down towards the ground as much as feels comfortable for you. Draw your base of your skull away from the tailbone once again, the shoulders away from the ears, and find your breath. Two more breaths here. Maybe finding that nice, deep, face-like belly breath. And then we'll step that back foot in just a little bit so that you can bring the heel down to the ground. I'm taking my hands back up to the chair, or maybe you're using blocks here, and we're going to straighten the front leg as much as feels good to you, coming into pyramid pose. So we don't want to lock the knee here, just a gentle bend, really getting into the back of the hamstring, but keeping a nice straight spine here so we're not rounding down. We want to protect the low back. and breathe here. Notice any tightness or tension you feel and see if you can soften it with your exhale. Couple more breaths here. Big, generous inhale. Soft, relaxing exhale. And then we'll bend into that front knee again, step the 
left foot up to meet the right foot, and then we're just going to step that right foot back, coming into the lunge on the second side. So hands can be on the back of the chair, or maybe all the way down to the ground, which will deepen your lunge. If this is tough on your wrists or your fingertips, you could bring the top of your fist down to meet the ground here. Again, you can adapt this practice to be whatever you need it to be today. Working within the healthy boundaries that your body is setting for you. Just kind of playing with that edge as you rock a little forward and back here, feeling into your hips, feeling your feet on the ground, drawing the base of the skull away, finding length in the spine. And then just let those hips sink down towards the ground. Really getting into the front of the hip flexor here. And then as you're ready, we're just gonna step that back foot in just enough to bring the heel down to the ground and begin to straighten that left leg. Again, soft little bend in that left knee or, or as generous as you need it to be today. Sometimes our hamstrings get pretty tight. So maybe you're here and that's okay. Just as long as you're feeling some sensation in the back of the thigh, maybe in the hip, maybe the calf. Find a couple more breaths right here. And then we'll bend into that front leg, step the back foot forward to meet the left. Nice, generous bend in the knees, and then we'll reach those fingertips down to the ground, circle and sweep those hands all the way up to the sky, and bring the hands back to meet your heart. Release your hands when you're ready. Feel your feet on the ground. Notice what you notice, your heart beating, your blood pumping, energy flowing. And then if you're using a chair today, we'll come back to a seat. If you're on the ground though, let's reach up once again. Bow down, coming forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale to find that halfway lift of the spine. And then exhale, bend your knees generously and come all the way down to the ground. And we're just gonna flip on over to come to our seat and then lay on the mat. If you're, lying, if you're sitting in a chair, just come to a nice tall seat. Either way, we're going to bring the hands down alongside the hips. If you're on the chair, hold on to the chair seat. And as you inhale, press into your feet and press the low back down towards the ground, curling your tailbone up. Inhale to rock that pelvis away from you. Let the low back lift as much as feels good and then press it back down again. Move with your breath at your space, pace, whatever feels good to you. You might like to stay right here. You can curl your tailbone back and forth from your seat, or maybe holding onto your seat or pressing into the ground, you could press your hips all the way up towards the sky and come into bridge. So if you're on the ground, it looks like that. If you're on your chair, maybe it looks like this or this. So whatever feels good to you today. Continue to breathe there, six full breaths. Think about drawing the lower ribs towards the pubic bone so that the center of the core is engaged. You can stay here with the hands pressing down, 
Or maybe you can walk your shoulders underneath you and interlace your fingers and press your pinkies down towards the ground so you can lift a little higher, lift your heart up towards the sky. Couple more breaths here, finding that nice deep bass-like breath. One more inhale, wherever you are. And then exhale, bringing your back all the way down to the ground or your sit bones all the way back to your chair. Just notice what you notice. What's happening in your body? What do you feel? And then we're gonna do a little bit more twists here. So bring your feet as wide as your yoga mat or a little wider than hip width if you're in your chair. Open up your arms into a T if you're on the floor or bring them to your heart if you're seated. Inhale right here at center. And as you exhale, let your knees travel towards the right as you let your gaze go towards the left. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale to let your knees go to the left as much as feels good to you, and then your gaze to the right. And we'll just keep going side to side and just notice how amazing this feels. It's a little massage across your low back, especially if you're down on the ground. The next time your knees come over to the right, we're just gonna hang out there for a little bit. Let your knees be to the right, your gaze to the left, and just let your legs be as heavy as you can. If you wanna go a little bit deeper and you're on the floor, you could pick up your right foot and set it on top of the outside of the left thigh. And just let that left knee kind of lengthen down towards the ground, really getting into the rib cage and the hips, the pelvis. Couple more breaths here. When you're ready, unwind anything you've got going on there, and then we'll come back to center and take the knees to the left and the gaze to the right. Find that nice, beautiful bass-like breath. Every time you exhale, invite yourself to soften a little bit more. Maybe amplify this if you like and bring the left ankle to the outside of the right thigh, letting the just the weight of the leg, you're not pushing anything, you're just letting the weight of the leg kind of draw that right knee down to the ground. Breathe here. One more full breath here. And then unwind the legs if they're wound. Invite everything to come back to center. Rest your hands on your belly if you're lying on the ground or in your lap, if you're seated. Just letting yourself come back to neutral. Relax the muscles of your face. Release any tension in your jaw. And then if you want to stay here, if you're on the ground, feel free to stretch out long and take Shavasana for as long as your time allows. Otherwise, roll on to your favorite side and press yourself up to a tall seat.
You can finish in any seated posture that feels good to you. I like to finish in staff pose, dandasana, with my legs extended out long, finding balance in the spine and in the hips. Just bringing your hands to your heart one more time together if you like. And bowing down to your own wisdom for taking care of yourself, for meeting your own needs, for working with your body, your mind, your nervous system, your spirit, maybe even, for finding your way to healing. The light that is within me honors and respects that same light within each of you. Namaste. Namaste.